What's up guys? This is a day in the life of quarantine. Gymshark style, we're out here, we're wild out. I really uh, don't know if this is a good idea, but uh, cowabunga. What you got there? Ooh, business woman. Morgan Rose Maroney. <laughs> you gonna welcome her to the vlog? Hi guys. Welcome to our vlog. I got my mouth full of banana bread. We are, we're eating banana bread. This is what we this is what our mornings look like. At the moment. Typically we go for a walk about 7:30, get home at 8, make some coffee, feed Hobbs. Morgan made some lovely banana bread. Can you guys just smell it? Mm. Mm. And then we kind of get our uh, our day organized. Obviously, the planner is out, and we open up the doors because it's nice, oh, nice and quiet. Oh, hello! Do you want to say hello to everyone? Hello, Josh, good boy. Do we need to wipe your bum? Yeah, when you have a French bulldog, you have to wipe his bum. So that's something after he eats, he usually poops, and then we wipe his bum. And then I open up the pool, and the day has officially begun. Such a good way to start off your day. Babe, what are we doing today? We are going on adventures. We're going to be playing around with our acro. And what is acro? It's where you work in a partnership to hold each other up in handstands and flips and... We're gonna do some of that today. Mm -hmm. And then where are we going? And then we're gonna go to Trekkerville Falls in the Polaris. And why are you still here and not back in Australia? Because people keep canceling my flights. And I actually have to rebook another one today. You reminded me about that. You and you're gonna be here for another month now, pretty much? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Right. Yeah, I'm excited to hang with your family. And just wipe the food off of your mouth? Well, I just gotta make sure I look pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna make breakfast. Breakfast typically consists of two whole eggs, uh, three fourths cup of egg whites, a bowl of oats, about a fourth a cup of oats, and then one slice of Dave's killer bread and one fourth avocado. I got the eggs going over here, microwave with the oatmeal, and this guy, I swear he's just pouting. Are you pouting? You already ate breakfast. Sit. No, come this way. You can't shake until I say it's a shake. Shake. Down. Show me your wiener. Good job. And breakfast is served. Now I'm gonna sit down and eat it. Parker, who's been helping me film workout stuff, is gonna come over and film a home workout. I did so much handstands yesterday and I want to get ready for this acro session, so. Gotta warm up the shoulders. Oh. What? What happened? Oh. Ah! Lower. Right there, right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what we're realizing is... The more uh, sunscreen we put on, the worse our skills are gonna be. Yeah, because there's so much touching involved in acro. You can either have good acro sessions or have skin cancer. Is that extreme? Okay, so a couple times a week, we come outside um, and we do some acro stuff. That could include handstand practices for me. Obviously Morgan is the handstand queen. And then we start doing like hand in hand stuff, but it actually really beats up on your body. Yeah, so for real. we're gonna go through a warm up with you guys. We'll just do wrists and stuff. It's all in the wrists? Yeah, and yeah. maybe your shoulders. So what are we doing here? We're, we're lubricating wrist the wrists. Synovial fluid. Wrist warm up. Lubrication. Get... Stop. You don't like that word? No, I really don't worry. Oh, this is my favorite one. Now we're building up strength in our wrist, getting all the little muscles working, getting some pressure into the hands and blood flow. What are you doing under there, Hobbs? Dude, you're such what a creep. Are you doing? You're such a creep Come here. right now. Do you want to do your handstand kick ups? Yeah. I'm going all the way up. When you're kicking up, your hands are like here. Yep. And it's so hard for you to get the power up, probably reach forward as far as you can. As far? Yeah. Okay. You want to be like a long lunge into it, not like a short. Oh, 
Oh, you're such a good teacher, babe. We're going to do some acro stuff now. We've got some liquid chalk because it gets hot out here and then obviously we get sweaty. Woo! I have a burn on my hand and that stings. We're gonna do some hand in hand stuff on the ground and then we're gonna go into the two skills that we've been like learning and training lately, which is an in locate hand in hand and a swinging, I don't even know what the second one's called. We just learned it off our acro coach. Let's call it the dirty dancing move. I was just walking, squeezing your fingers, like just muscling that. He was like, stay up there. <laughs> we got this. Oh my god. Thank you. Ta -da. One take. We're gonna edit out all the other ones. <laughs> you are so slimy. So this this one that we're gonna do, it's like a um, it's like a dirty. I don't know if it's dirty dancing or grease. It's like old like 60s dance kind of thing where you come up, the girl straddles the guy, and then it drops down, and then it kicks up into like a handstand, but it's a shoulder stand. And then if you can, you transfer into one arm and you do a one arm hold, like a one arm shoulder stand hold. And to be honest, I've forgotten this one completely. Let's do this. Oh, wait, we don't show. Oh. We don't want to show them our handshake. Yeah, we do. Okay, blur this out, guys. Get into an headbutt each other. Ah, football. Why do you want to headbutt me? Football. Helmets. I would love to headbutt you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you laughing? You spit in my face. Shit, you not. You go. <laughs> True story. Me and my buddy, my junior year, speaking of football. Disgusting. Before our game, there was this movie we saw where they spit in each other's mouth. So we try it. Before the game, I smack. <laughs> I spit in his mouth like nothing. I was like, <laughs> just like I did there. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh. and I was like, ah, I just threw up everywhere. <laughs> This is how you guys' relationship will either make it or break it. If you break your girlfriend, your relationship breaks. <laughs> All the work's been done. Now it's turbo time. Just stopped because it's Cinco de Mayo. We stopped and got show them what's in there. Oh, mine's a bit. <laughs> There's pork, French fries, guac, red onions, sour cream, pico de gallo, pico de gallo, gallo. Pico de gallo. sour cream. <laughs> it's literally Jeez. It's delicious. Like, it's Happy so Cinco de Mayo. <sighs> Bumpiest road ever. We were out here about a week ago in the truck, and I would never do it in my truck again. So we brought the Polaris. It's hot as hell. It's about 90 degrees. And we're going in the Polaris. So mount up, regulators, mount up. That's a great 90s song too.
this is a good idea, but uh, cowabunga. You gonna do it? Maybe, yeah. guys i thought we would be out here for sunset but the sun is out and we're still ending this vlog with popcorn morgan pop popcorn nobody loves popcorn more than this girl very true shameless g2g plug if you guys want to get my favorite g2g bar you guys need to keep them refrigerated but there's a discount code in the description if you want them i love them that much that i reached out to them you love them too I do love them. Will you feed me some popcorn? I've always want. Uh, this is true love, right here. Side note: I've seen comments about how it must be to be the videographer to Third Wheel with these two. <laughs> it's just as bad as you might expect. <laughs> so Morgan and I are both Sagittarius. We both love to travel, and this quarantine has obviously kept us from doing a lot of our big travels: Italy, Spain, England, Hawaii. So it's been really cool, actually, that we've had the opportunity to come out and explore this great state of Utah, especially Southern Utah, where I live. I don't know what we would do if we were cooped up in LA or New York. Oh. Social distancing out here has been much, much easier, but we've been really lucky to jump out in the Polaris or the boat and just go explore. Look at those mountains. Look how awesome that is. Do you have anything you want to say to the camera? Yeah. Thanks for having us. Can you feed me some more popcorn? Parker, you want some popcorn? Thank you for tuning in to this Gymshark All Access. We'll this see is you guys on the next one. On the next adventure. I wonder when we're going to go to a pop-up together. Uh, the last one was Australia two years ago, pretty much. So when we barely knew each other. So. We're, we're due. We're, we're due for another pop-up yeah. when they start happening again. But really cool uh, that we can get out into nature and just experience it in this tough time. Um, we just hope you guys wherever you are, even if it's going out and sitting outside, experience some nature, your backyard, going for a walk. Vitamin D. It makes you feel so much better. Mm -hmm. So we love the great outdoors and this has been a day in our quarantine life. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.